Hey guys, Tyler here with XTool USA. Today we are working on a 2012 Nissan Pathfinder. We're going to be programming a smart key from our nitrous key kit here today. So I'm going to be showing you guys the process on that using the nitro scan tool. So the first things first is we're going to go to the special functions menu. We're going to go to immobilization and hit agree. Now we're going to look for US Nissan. Bear with me here just a second. There it is. U.S. Nissan. Now, th this vehicle is going to be a two-step programming process. First, we have to program the emergency key. And then we're going to be programming the proximity key afterwards. Um, so, we'll go ahead and show you guys the process on that. So the very first thing we're gonna do when we're in the vehicle is turn the hazard lights on. We're going to go to this read BCM code and release steering lock. It's gonna require us to release the steering lock on this vehicle to continue. So we're gonna go release steering lock, hit okay. It says switch ignition off, ignition's already off. Do you wanna bypass the pin code? Yes, we wanna bypass the pin code. All right, perfect. Now the steering lock has been released. And what that's going to allow you to do is freely turn this knob, a twist knob here. Before that, it wouldn't allow you to turn it without a program key, but now that the steering lock is released, we are able to turn that freely. So now we're going to go back out. We're going to go to program keys by type. We're going to go to immobilizer for pin code type 2. So this is going to be the process for the emergency key. So we're going to go ahead and stick our emergency key inside of this knob right here. So it just fits in right in the middle. And then we're going to switch the ignition to the on position. And once it's in the on position, we're going to go ahead and hit OK on our scan tool. And then we're going to go to program keys. This is do we want to bypass pin? Yes. Alright, so it says switch ignition off, insert the first key, switch ignition on. If you need to add more keys, repeat the procedure. So I only have one key with me today, but when you release the steering lock, it's going to erase all the emergency keys. So if you, this is assuming you're doing an add a key, you're going to have to cycle in your new key as well as the original. So all we're going to do is we're going to switch the ignition off, and then we're going to switch the ignition back on with this key. And at a mobilizer light, it was... You might have missed it, but on the left side, towards the bottom right of that left side cluster, uh, there was a flashing car light. It flashed five times and then it went out. That means our key programmed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and switch our ignition off. If there was another key, I would put it in, switch it on. The uh, car light would flash five more times, and that one would be done. Just to close programming mode, I'm going to switch it back on with the same key. You see that car light flash five times. Switch it off and hit OK. And now this key, emergency key, should be programmed. So I should be able to crank the car with this key. Car starts right up. And now that we have a program and emergency key, we're going to be programming the smart key portion of this. So now we're going to back out to the very first screen in Nissan. We're going to go smart key system, four pin code, and this one is going to be a type three, I believe, three or four. So we'll try type three first. If it doesn't work, we'll go to type four. So we're going to go smart key. So it says insert a program mechanical key, which is our emergency key, and switch the ignition on. So I'm going to switch the ignition on with that and hit OK. And now we're going to go to Program Smart Keys. Alright, hit OK. And now it says click the lock button. Now, the best position to hold it is about head level height right over here over the middle console. Press the lock button once. Press and release. And then hit OK. And then it says Program Success right on the scan tool. So this key 
should now be programmed. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door, switch the ignition off, and test the remote. Oh, okay, close the door. Lock and unlock work. Panic works. And now I took the emergency key out, right? So to test the, the uh, proximity portion, this knob should now turn without any key being inside of the uh, inside of the slot. So I'm gonna push it in and turn it, and the car starts. So if our key is outside of the vehicle, that knob is no longer going to turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this key outside of the vehicle down there. And now I'm gonna try to turn it and nothing. So our key is programmed successfully. Emergency key and smart key in and out five minutes. Thank you guys.